ตนานอ l right, as promised, we're gonna do the taste comparison of the King Grinder K6 and the Easy Preso ZP6. So, um, in the last in the last video of these two grinders, we actually inspected the differences between the two physically and inside. Today, we are checking the taste difference of the two, and I'm gonna tell you what I think. For anything else, I would like to check my conversion chart. So for this test, we're gonna do um, 4.5, no, 5 on the ZP6 and then on the King Grinder K6, that is 79. That is 79 on the King Grinder K6. So, that is 60, 70, 80, minus 1. All right. So, we have the same micron grind sizes. So, for this test, we're going to use this Columbia Finca San Luis from Leaves Coffee. Alright, let's weigh 13 grams for both of the grinders. Right, so I'm gonna put a timer on so that we can actually assess which one is faster. I was really amazed at how fast the ZP6 grinds its coffee. So let's start. Oh, 13 grams, 21 seconds. Now we're gonna do the Easy Presso ZP6. Oh, <laughs> close, close, close. It is 22 seconds. Okay, so let's switch that up. Everything with color. Is with the ZP6 and everything black is with the K6. All right. I have to take note that the coffee grounds from um, the ZP6 is more aromatic. Maybe four out of five, and then. The aroma that I got from the K6 is maybe 2 out of 5. Right, I'm gonna do this standing up so that I have more control. Start. Okay, right now I'm just waiting for the brew from the K6 to finish drawing down the water. Right, we're gonna start tasting both of the coffees. Since the ZP6 is brewed first, we're gonna start with the ZP6. I'm gonna give it a little stir. I'm gonna put down my remarks. Now, I'm gonna try the 
coffee from the ZP6. Um, give it a little stir. This took a different turn, right? Um, what I tasted from the ZP6 is it's very sweet. Oh, it's very clean. It's very sweet, it's very clean. Um, but it's not, um, there is no clarity at all. The flavor is just mushed down together. But I'm getting like sugar cane sweetness, nectarine sweetness. Um, almost nutty. It's very sweet, but there is very low um, acidity. Um, it's not bright at all. There is no brightness to it. And the aftertaste is a bit short. It's dry. The, the coffee from the K6 is very bright. Um, I'm getting stone fruits. Um, a little, little sweetness from the cup. And there is no nuts. The aftertaste is long as well. That is um, when we use the cupping spoon. Um, now I'm gonna try and drink it from a cup and see if there is um, if there is another um, depth to these coffees. Right? I'm gonna try the ZP6 again first. completely changed okay okay now I'm gonna try the, Z the K6 when the coffee cooled down um, they both changed in character so we actually tried it in a cup so it's a different <clears throat> so it's a different um, experience this time so the coffee from the ZP6 actually highlighted more of the stone fruits this time. And it's still sweet. It actually balanced, balanced out at the end with um, bringing out the acidity. But the finish is still dry. Um, the K6 actually evolved to be very bright. Um, some would even call it sour, but it's not that sour that you can feel it here yet. There is no sweetness and it has a very, very long aftertaste of lemon. So I really like that. Okay, let's, let's recap the parameters. We used 13 grams of coffee. We used suiren for both of the brews. The K6 is at 79 clicks. While the ZP6 is at um, number five. Temperature that we used is 90 degrees. We did three pour method. So the first pour is 40 ml. And then we waited 45 seconds to pour up to 100 on the second pour. And then at one minute and 30 seconds, we poured all the way up to 200 ml for the third and final pour. Actually, if you want to see the bed of, two, of the two coffees, here they are. They almost look exactly the same, but you can actually see from the walls of the paper that the K6 has more microfine particles than the ZP6. ZP6. And then this is the K6. On all of my reviews about the K6, um, I actually tagged it to produce a very balanced coffee every single time. Um, that is not the case here. The ZP6, on the other hand, is known for its clarity. It is known for its clean brews, very clean, very smooth brews, and the clarity part is not the case here today as well. So the grind setting that we actually used in combination with the paper and the brewer and the temperature of the water, we actually managed to bring out these grinders out of their um, comfort zones. So in conclusion, the ZP6 actually made a sweeter cup 
over the K6, which made a very bright um, cup. Not sour, just bright with a very good aftertaste of lemon. I really like the aftertaste of lemon. So if you have any more questions, leave it in the comment section below. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!